Recently, my friends and I traveled to New Orleans, Louisiana and stayed downtown for just $20 a night. Today, I'm gonna to tell you how we did that and show you some of the fun stuff we did while we were there. Hashtag RV life, hashtag winning. Happy Sunday, everybody. It's Robin with Creativity RV. Now, if you follow my channel, you might have seen me traveling through Louisiana recently on my way to New Orleans. What you might not know is that New Orleans has been on my personal travel bucket list for many years because my sister, Terry, and I always planned to go to New Orleans and my next stop together, but we never got a chance to because um, she passed away about seven years ago pretty suddenly from pancreatic cancer. When I introduced this channel, I talked about her a little bit and also in a TED talk that I did um, because when she was dying, she asked me if I had two years to live if I would keep my job and the answer was no. And so I thought about her the whole time that I was traveling in New Orleans and um, I felt like I was traveling for both of us. So I did it, Terry, and I get to show all of you that trip today. Now, there's not a lot of RV options when you go into a big city like New Orleans. In fact, when I searched there, there was one RV park near the French Quarter. We were there the week right before Mardi Gras, so things were packed, and the rates at the one RV park were $160 a night. Now, we could have stayed in some places outside of the city, but then we would have had to have a tow car or take an Uber all the way into town. So instead, I went to my tried and true Harvest House. But when I went to this Harvest House, I found something I've never ever seen at another one. And that's what I wanna tell you about today. If you're not familiar with Harvest House, you know that I use it quite a bit. In fact, I used it recently in other parts of Louisiana to see a historic Cajun village and also to go on a swamp tour, which was my favorite thing ever. You know, you pay your $100 a year membership with Harvest House, screaming deal, but then you can usually dry camp overnight for free at all kinds of different places. And the good rule of thumb is to spend about 20 bucks while you're there. So that's what we expected with this place. But when we went to sign up, I saw that this particular Harvest House actually lets you book other nights for $20 a night. So our first night was free. Of course, we tried to go in and spend our 20 bucks, but the brewery was actually closed that day. So for the subsequent three nights, all of my friends and I each paid $20 to Faubourg through the Harvest House site to stay there overnight. Now you can see here on this map that the brewery is pretty close to the city. So what we did is we just grabbed an Uber. We basically paid for our annual Harvest House membership in one day by staying at the Harvest House instead of staying at a pricey RV park. So my friend Peggy and I hung out the entire time and got tickets to a hop on, hop off, double-decker bus tour that I think was around $55 for unlimited access to the hop-on hop-off bus and three tours and we jumped all over that. Purchase was signed in 
Our first tour was to Cemetery Number no. One, which is the longest running open cemetery in the United States. The history of this place is just crazy. There are tens of thousands of bodies inside of this cemetery, even though it only takes up a city block. This was our tour guide, and we got to follow him around and learn about some of the famous people that are buried there in some of the group mausoleums for you know, different religions and musicians and politicians. And also this crazy mausoleum that I guess Nicolas Cage bought. There's a really beautiful church a couple of blocks down that we went and saw first that was built originally to handle funerals for people that died of yellow fever. And then a lot of those people were put in cemetery number one. Then we jumped back on the bus and went and did a riverboat cruise. And then we met our next tour guide, this dude, who showed us the garden district that was totally covered in decorations for the upcoming Mardi Gras parade and really beautiful houseboats and these gorgeous old houses. And finally, we met my favorite tour guide who took us around the French Quarter and told us all about the history there, which was amazing. And of course, in between, we saw all the shops. We ate some really questionable food and had a great time. And every night, we went back and got a great night's sleep in our own rigs with Harvest House. I love traveling in an RV. I get to see the best stuff. And after this, we actually headed north to go to my next spot, which has also been on my travel bucket list forever. And I'll show you that one in a couple of weeks. Until then, I hope you're all doing well out there. Everybody have happy travels and be free.